Hello folks, recently I found some cool usages of images in iOS and thought to share it with you all. These features exist, exist for a long time but lesser is known about them and few of you may be aware of it. I will be covering three features in this session. First one is using PDF vectors instead of 1x, 2x and 3x images. Second one would be using the same image with different colors on different screens. Uh, you can say that uh, you have a, a delete image with black color and you want to use the same image on a different screen with uh, let's say blue color. Okay, so how you can use the same image just you know altering the color. The third one is setting the image property of any uh, button or UI image view instead of using without using ui image image named so basically always whenever we want to set up image property what we do is uh, ui image view image name and the name of the image what if i you know give you an alternative method and that is super cool which which i like which 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 you know bold my mind so let, let's start with the uh, you know the project first so I've already to save us time. I have already created a sample project. There is nothing much into that project. So first I'll uh, you know it's a single view application. First I'll go with the assets which I have used so just to demonstrate the images how uh, you know different images uh, will function in the app. So I, I'm using image assets. So what I have done is I have taken a one x image or only two x image, only three x image and an image with all the three formats which we usually use in our app so whenever we are developing an app we will be using a 1x 2x and 3x image right then what i have done is i have another uh, image with a delete field just for you know demonstration purpose then what i have done is i have taken a vector pdf okay again vector pdf also in 1x 2x and 3x format how do we create you know use pdf in your application is like basically you create a new image set which will basically create like this what you have to do is you need to go to scales and use single scale so that this will accept a pdf right so I have, I have taken pdfs okay the last thing which i have done with the image set is that what i have done is i have set the render as properties template image in all the images which I have used so you can see that it's a template image a template image this is a template image this is also a template image and this is also a template image okay now let, let's see our UI so on UI what I have done is I have just you know create a simple UI that there is nothing into it it's just uh, image views with what I have done is like if uh, on the first image I have set the 1x image only on second I have 2x image on third 3x image and fourth the <coughs> set with all the three formats and similarly for PDF factor also I have taken uh, three images with 1x 2x and 3x vector set here okay also what I have done is I have uh, you know I have changed the tint property also here that that I'll, I'll explain you why I have changed the tint property okay so that that is demonstrable so now let's first go to so application I have already executed in the simulator so I'll just show you so uh, this uh, on the left side is the screenshot from a iPhone 5 and this is iPhone 7x and both are in so so iPhone 7 plus uses 3x images high resolution and iPhone 5 uses a 2x images so when when you see that that 1x image you can see that it's slightly blur in both the phones so it's so you can you can directly say that you can not use 1x images then iPhone uh, 5 uses a 2x image so it it clearly looks good as well and these two also formats are you know resembles that only but if you see 2x image on iphone 7 it's not that sharp 
as you can see 3x and all format one these two so you can see the 2x also doesn't go well with 7 plus so 3x and all for 3x or maybe is the right image which goes with now let's go to the pdf factor how it goes okay so if you can see P pdf factor 1x in iphone 5 you can see it's a blur image and it doesn't look it straightforward is it doesn't look good now 2x is slightly better and 3x also looks pretty much same now let, let's go to uh, pdf 1x on 7 plus so 7 plus you, you can you know straightforward see, see the difference that 1x is not that sharp and 2x is also slightly dull whereas 3x is the exact sharp but if you if you see go by the documents or the usage of pdf factors it says that you your pdf factor should be of the format 1x and then automatically it, it will scale at compile time or run time it will scale to create uh, image sets for 1x 2x 3x so i what i think is that currently the support of uh, PDF factors is not entirely correct or the documentation is at Apple is also not available entirely perfectly so uh, PDF vector, vector is a very safe option very good option which will be coming up and you know uh, as you can say that uh, uh, Apple started from 1x then 2x 3x and in future there could be 4 5 I don't know like it there is a heavily possibility of new image formats that can come up so pdf with one pdf factor you can entirely support future devices as well so you you do if a new device comes in you uh, we, we don't have to worry about you know recreate we don't have to worry about recreating the images or recreating the application and submit it to app store with one pdf image it will scale it with to the new devices as well okay so this covers the first part of pdf vectors hope to see uh, you know a stable build or stable or, or a, uh, a documentation from apple on this i'll i'll jump to the second part okay so uh, as as you can see that i have this delete buttons okay and let's say same delete button you you need to use on different screens and maybe the color of this button varies so what what we usually do is we'll ask different icons with different color set with the designers what if this same icon can be reused with different colors so i'll i'll show you how we'll do it so i've already created the outlets for this icons okay so what we need to do is we just need to alter the tint property of the image since we and how it's happening is because in image assets we we have set the renders properties template image so what it does is it it will just take the sketch of the your image and then apply the tint property on it so if i say if we, we need to alter the uh, color of this icon says we just need to set the tint property to let's say ui color dot red color image to dot tint color is equals to ui color let's say q color mm, black is already there then the third image set the color to let's say dark gray color and the fourth image set the color to green color let's run the application and see how it looks
Mm -hmm. See, so same image, we, we can reuse it and we can change the colors instantly and without inheriting multiple images. Uh, this can be achieved without coding as well. So let's say I'll, I'll delete this code just to be on safe side and I'll go to storyboard and what you can do is uh, is go to the trend property and change the colors here itself right there in the storyboard that way last one I'll set it as oh, let's run it and see if that takes into effect not entirely <laughs> so I think it works only let me just see if this story but it should work basically if it's not then it pro it works only programmatically Okay, so it works only in pro programmatically format only. Now the last thing and you know it just how I find this is like instantly I was just working on it is how to change the image property without using UI image image named method. Okay, so how we do is I'll use image one. I'll change the image property of image one. So I'll say image one dot image and what I need to set is I've already have an extra image called as delete fill so what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll say I'll just write delete fill and see you can see that image is already coming up and what you can see is that it shows the image in front of the name uh, this this just came instantly to me I was just you know typing something and I saw this and I, when I see that it, it is working and let, let me run this application you can see that it got changed on the UI as well uh, this was something which I was not aware of and you can see that the image has been changed the red color comes because we have changed the tint property okay that's it hope you like this this is something new which I found and I thought of sharing it bye bye